Hello my friends and welcome back. Since the release of Angular 17, I've seen many developers are struggling to get the app.module.ts file. And as in Angular 17, we are no longer having that file because there are the features that are now introduced for the standard components and I've been struggling with this too. And since the release of a new Angular CRI and the new version for working with Angular 17, I've also seen that whenever you're going to create the project, it will by default uh, allow the standard components. And I'm going to show you how to get around this and bring back the app.module.ts and still use the Angular 17. But before we do that, I'm going to check the current Angular CRI I have on my system. Whenever I go ahead and, and type ng version, I uh, can see that I'm having now this Angular CRI as the version 17 which indicates that I'm using now this at the latest version available at the time of making this video. Okay, I'm going to create the screen and I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to say ng new and I'm going to call this test app and press enter. And it will be asking me for the CSS framework that I'm going to be using. I'm going to choose the CSS, the normal CSS and look, now in Angular 17, we will be prompted to enable the server side rendering. And I'm going to go ahead and click on yes and press enter. And in this case, we created the Angular project, but take a look here. You can see that it is going to create this app.component.html, component.spec and .ts and .css. And there is no app.module.ts. And Remy allow this app to start and you have to compare between this version and the second version that I'm going to show you. All right. And once now this project is now completely created, you can see that there will be a lot of warning in here. I'm going to ignore this for a moment and I'm going to try to open this into the VS code. I'm going to navigate to my test app and I'm going to open the VS code in here and you're going to see now what's inside this project. Okay. So when you take a closer look into the sources and you go to app, and you can see that I'm having this. For example, when I, I go into one of these components, I'm going to trust the authors. And when you take a closer look, you can see that there will be this flag for standalone, which is now true, which indicates that this is now a standalone component. And this is what changed in Angular 17 particularly. So I'm going to cross this and I'm going to create a new project by uh, now allowing the modules back. So I'm going to uh, make CD up one level and I'm going to create a new project, but with no standalone frag. So I'm going to say ng new and I'm going to say a new and I'm going to call this as test uh, two and I'm going to give this a frag of no standalone. Remember to add this one because this is the one that is going to bring back our module or, the, or our app.module.ts. I'm going to go ahead and press enter and I'm going to choose the CSS and also the server side rendering and then press enter. And when you take a closer look here, you can see that it is now going to create this app.module.ts, but don't take a word for it until we test it into the VS code and see if it's now bringing what we need. So let's give it a go. And once this is complete, I'm going to create the screen and I'm going to uh, navigate to it like this one. And I'm going to open the VS code in here and I'm going to see the difference between this and the previous one. And when you take a closer look to this new project and you go to the uh, source and you go to the app, you can say I'm going to trust the author and you go to the app and you can see that I'm, I'm having this. Um, app.module.server and app.module.ts back and whenever you go to the component and you can see that there is no frag related to the standard run and this is now how you can do it let me know if you liked this video and if it did help you with this problem and i'm going to be using angular 17 and make the new videos about angular stuffs and make sure to stay in tune subscribe if you are new here and write in the comment if you did fix this problem by using this approach and thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace